What's up guys, Fishing4K here. Um, I'd been looking at purchasing some uh, male peacock cichlids. Um, well, they're they're called the Lunacara cichlids and there's tons and tons of variety. They're really cool um, African cichlids that are native to Lake Malawi. And um, so they're really cool. The males in particular are the ones that get really colorful and um, females are less drab so there's always a high demand for males now i was looking at pricing and stuff and i know um i know as we're going through this video i'm just kind of showing you the fish um i will show them again and then throw up some pictures of the males so that way you can see um which ones i got so i purchased four juvenile peacock cichlids um, now what my intention is well what i'm i'm hoping to score a couple of males in the batch right and uh, the reason being is because, you know, if you buy a male, it's already colored up, you're going to pay the premium, right? I mean, there's no way around it. Um, they had some for 30, 40, actually, no, I think they had from 50 up to like $70 plus shipping. Um, and I'm always kind of like balling on a budget. So I'm looking for like value buys and stuff. Um, so I was thinking, why not just play the fish lottery, right? buy a couple of juvenile peacocks and then just grow them out and hope and hope that I get a male or two or three or whatever. But even if I just get one, I'll be happy. Um, but anyways, I, the packaging was excellent. No, no leaks or anything like that. So great job on that. Um, uh, so what they recommend is that you float the bag, um, with the fish in your, in your water, in your tank, um, and what that's going to do is just um, equalize the temperatures in the baggie versus the temperature in your tank. And that's going to minimize stress for the fish. So go ahead and float them. They recommend 10 to 15 minutes. However, they also note that if by any chance you have a bag that is um, leaking or is low on water, just go ahead and bypass this step and get the fish in the water asap um you'd be surprised the crazy stories you see on the um on the forums about fish and stuff and they can survive in like the tiniest amounts of water it's crazy um not that this company uh lifefishdirect.com has had that experience i mean i don't know but i'm just saying um so First one up here is the Eureka Red Jake. Now the picture there is of a fully colored up male. So I'm hoping I get a male. Like I said, 50-50 chance playing the fish lottery. So you're always going to want to throw the water away. You don't want to just open it and throw the, the water with the fish in there. Um, it's just kind of dirty water. And it's good practice to do it like this. And so what I'm doing is opening them up, throwing the excess water into the sink, and then the fish in the, the thing. So the second one up here is Red Top Lawanda, and as you can see, awesome colorations. And um, yeah, so I'm really fingers crossed on that one and hope to get a male. Next one up is a rubescence or rubicin, rubicins. I'm sure I messed that up, but a rubescent cichlid. Um, it's really cool orange, reddish uh, coloration. So again, it's a fish lottery. Now, one of the pros to, to doing this is I paid much less for these juveniles than I would have for a male, right? And so this one here, I'm almost certain it's a male because you can kind of see the red colorations. It's a German red uh, peacock. You can see the coloration on the fins and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I scored a male there. So that's a win. Now, um, I did pay 5 to $6 per cichlid so i think it was like 25 bucks and then the 25 dollar flat rate shipping that uh livefishdirect.com um, offers so i thought that was really 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 cool um so i paid 50 bucks for these fish now in this order i did get an electric blue car um and i think that one's a little larger it was like two and a half to three inches large um i think i paid like 15 bucks for that that's going in a separate tank and I'm gonna do a separate video on that um, later but anyways after I got them in the tank um, 
the I turn the lights on and I'm sorry if I forgot to mention but um, going back to when you're floating the tank or floating the bags you want to go ahead and shut the lights off just to kind of minimize stress but I turned the lights on and I was happy to see that these guys were just out and about they weren't so timid and they were ready to eat so I threw some food in there um, also my gold head compressed steps I have um, four Alto Lampalongas comps in there um, so if you see them around they're they're there um, those are usually a little more timid but they were out as well so I thought that was cool um, so I'm using the Omega 1 super color flakes and then I do also throw in some Hikari bloodworms the freeze dried ones that I showed there um, with fry and juveniles and stuff you really can't go wrong with flakes um, so I do recommend that you start off with uh, with a good quality flake that Omega 1 uh, flake whether it's the super color or the cichlid formula or whatever or really any quality flake is gonna be good um, I have used like some of the cheaper ones like the tetra flakes and stuff and they eat it just fine they digest it fine but I have noticed that the more expensive flakes do kind of bring out the colors so it's gonna be like whatever suits your needs or budget or whatever um, that's what you're gonna want to go for so but anyways you can't go wrong with flakes I do recommend that you keep an eye on all fish um, all newly added fish to make sure that they're eating I know sometimes it can be hard to uh, get a new fish to eat so I was really really excited that they were just eating and actively searching for food there's one of my compressed steps I believe that's my alpha yeah I think it is um, and so his size is about well his or her size I don't know but I'm pretty sure it's a him because the males grow faster He's about two inches big, so that kind of gives you a size reference on that. But yeah, so I was concerned that maybe the comps would have an issue with the peacocks in there since the peacocks are a little more um, active swimmers and the uh, compressed steps are a little more timid. They kind of just hang out in rocks and cracks and caves and shells. Uh, so it was nice to see everyone out and about. Um, searching for chow right like they were going to eat but anyways getting back to the fish lottery I mean even if I got only one male um, it's worth it to me since I paid five to six dollars for for each one there so um, if you if you need to get a male then I don't recommend doing this um, I recommend that you just buy a male art outright right that you're not wasting time and money but if you're like me and you're searching for a good value, just try getting the juveniles. It's hard for the the dealer to sex them, and so you benefit from that. Um, especially if you buy a large volume, like you have a really good chance of uh, of getting males. But I would say that you try to get the smallest ones you can. Um, but with that being said, that pretty much wraps it up for the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I wish you guys good luck if you're going to do the, the fish lottery. And uh, I have to say that Live Fish Direct, they did an excellent job. Great service. Great packaging. Everything was on time. Legit. I rep recommend them 100%. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. If you have any comments, holler at me. We'll talk some fish. And I appreciate your feedback. Thanks for watching, guys. Fish 4K signing off.